asked my boyfriend to delete his social media. Was he using to make money? No, he was not. He just had social media because everybody has a Facebook, everybody has an Instagram, so okay. he just had them. And I was like, there's no reason for you to have them. Go ahead and delete that for me. Go you ahead did. and log off for me. Did he delete it? Yeah. Oh, wow. That is the definition of happy wife, happy life. Now, I don't think I would personally ask my partner to delete his social media accounts just because I don't want him to be on social media because I feel like that's not fair. Everyone has the right to choose what they want to do. Um, I don't control him. If that works for them, then that's great. It's nice to see how some men will do whatever it takes to make their woman happy. She left him. Yeah. So he was great, but just not great enough. He was perfect, but he wasn't a husband. He still sends her flowers, though. He deleted his social media for no reason. He was sipping really, really hard, but it, it just it just didn't work out. Because, you know, great is cool, but great really is the bare minimum. I need extraordinary. My son's father ghosted me four times before we ended up in a relationship together. And it's so funny because I used to think if someone left your life and then came back, it meant that it was supposed to happen and they were supposed to be in your life. But now as I've gotten older, it's complete opposite. To me, that just means that if you were willing to leave my life, then you were never meant to be there in the first place. And I so desperately wish I could go back and tell my 21 year old self like that, <laughs> that is not how. Honestly, I wish we prioritized family more. You know, I wish women like this had fathers in their lives. And this isn't even me being facetious or me trying to take digs at this woman because I grew up in a single parent family myself. If we had more fathers, situations like this would never occur. The idea that a man is leaving you four times, four times, and you're gonna go back with that man and have a baby with that man. And this is what we be saying when we say that these men who are bad, they didn't just become bad out of nowhere. Oh my God, he just turned bad overnight. Almost never the case. The signs were there. For whatever reason, they ignored it. Every woman needs a man in her life who doesn't want anything from her except for the best. That man just wants the best for her. He's going to give her, and isn't a simp, that's very important. He's going to give her the realest advice, the harshest truths, and if this woman had this type of guidance, there's absolutely no way she ends up in this position. To take away my desire that I would submit to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the time that I felt most filled with the Holy Spirit was when I kissed a woman. Um, that yeah, like, it's just so cooked, man. It's like... You felt the Holy Spirit the most when you kissed a woman? Like, it doesn't, like, it's not even about being gay at this point. Because if I said, oh, I felt the Holy Spirit when I kissed a girl, that's still fucked up. What is going, like, this is what I mean, bro. This is why I swear, like, just Christianity has been just twisted and watered down so much in America. Where it's like Christian people don't even get the respect they deserve, bruh. It's sad, man. Like, it's just like, how can you read in the Bible? Oh, homosexuality is a sin. It's one thing to commit a sin. I'm no better than you. I'm a sinner too. But why come out like this and just butcher the, the Holy Spirit? Like, you can't say that. Bro, like, it's sad, man. I don't know, bro. Like, it just, it doesn't even make sense. Like, how does that, like... How does that connect to the Holy Spirit? It's a woman. You kissing a woman made you feel the Holy Spirit? Like, that has nothing to do with each other. That shit is actually insane, bro. Guys, chivalry is actually dead. So let me explain why. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but, like, men don't help women in the tube or, like, on public transport anymore. Now, let me explain real quick. So... I feel like back in the day when women would struggle with like their buggies, push chairs, like men would actually stop and help them, you know, carry up the stairs or wherever within the public transport sphere, right? <laughs> Whether that's helping them get onto the tube, getting them off the bus, off on the escalators, all that type of stuff. But I feel like men are just 
walking past now. And like us women are like actually helping the women. Like I see it happen all the time. Like men will literally walk straight past, like not even by an eyelid, nothing. And I'm just like, damn, like, where's the chivalry gone? Uh, anyway, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> She's right. <laughs> She's actually right. I see this all the time. She's absolutely right, okay? Chivalry is dead. And when you take a step back and you look at the landscape of the world from the 60s to now, this was always going to happen. When you're in a society of equals, chivalry, it, it just doesn't make any sense. And, you know, I use the train, public transport here and there. If the situation presents itself and an old lady needs help or a pregnant woman needs help or a disabled person needs help, I will lend a helping hand. But that's it. If an able-bodied woman is carrying her suitcase up the stairs, well, guess what? You're just carrying your suitcase up the stairs. It's 2024. And unless that woman is really struggling, most men aren't going to help. Yeah, like, honestly, unless we would be going to mine or to yours, I think, like, everyone finds their way home on their own. Like, that's, that's the way it is. That's, how, that's the way I was brought up. That's quite interesting. Quite interesting. <laughs> bro, I cannot believe this, bro. Like, huh? what? This is quite very interesting. I just feel like if you've been way more honest and told me that I would have to get my Uber back, then I genuinely I would... thought that it's understood. No. Ooh. Ooh. Like... So she made her caption about race. I don't want to make this about race. This man is in his soft guy era, okay? The most important thing for women to get out of this soft guy era movement is chivalry. How privileged you are that men are chivalrous or were chivalrous towards women because chivalry isn't logical. If we're going on a date and we're going our separate ways after the date, why would I pay for your way home? That makes no sense. We both came separately. We both leave separately. Why am I paying for your way home? logically why would i even drop you home these, these are these are real these are real questions if i look at the data me i am more likely to have violent crimes committed against me than any demographic of woman really you should be dropping me home to make sure i'm safe okay drizzle drizzle and i can kind of hear in this man's voice he sounds it's giving me like swedish danish he's giving me somewhere over there scandinavian country they believe in 50 50. so all the women out there when you go on dates please make sure you have money to go home because you might be lucky and fortunate to find a man who's chivalrous but then again you might not like y'all remember about a month ago when that lady got on twitter and was like hey black men if you could volunteer your time to mentor young black men and young teenage black boys to be a positive role model and example in their community and all the black men got on the post and called her basically a back black bitch who needed to mind her business calling a woman out of her name for a simple request is crazy you know what else is crazy and just hear me out. It sounds so, so, so absurd to a man who took his life seriously to hear a woman, a grown woman who was supposed to be taking her life seriously, have a child with a man that we can all see ain't shit. Then, then have problems with that fatherless little boy and ask the person who took their life serious to come in and take some of the responsibility off of her shoulders. To women, that might sound like, what? I'm just asking for help. That sounds like the craziest shit in the world. That has to be his nephew. And even then, like, oh, I gotta be his grandson. You, just a random, just mentor a random little badass kid who grew up without a dad and don't respect authority? Let's keep it a buck. Some of these little niggas is terrible. Terrible. I'll get on TikTok and say some productive shit. Hey, you know, once you graduate, you know, high school or college, whatever, get you a job, make sure you financially straight, then find you one woman. Treat that woman good. Don't cheat. Travel the world with her. You know what I'm saying? Wait to have kids. Woo -dee -woo. Oh, this lame. He lame for real. What kind of square ass? These are the little boys y'all made mistakes with. And you gonna ask a regular black man, can you mentor him? I can't do nothing with him. What the fuck you think I can do with him? He don't give a fuck. <laughs> man, y'all so fucking lost. 
the reason why there are some women who can say things like this and like not think anything of it or actually be serious is because they only think about it from their perspective so <laughs> me personally i wouldn't even be a stepdad so i wouldn't even mentor your child if i was busting you down and i'm, I'm not busting you down you're just a random stranger and you want me to take the responsibility of ra of raising of raising your your kid because you messed up where do they do that where where does that happen what community does that it's called self-policing self-policing before you have a child before you lay with a man make sure that man is of the highest quality that you can get make sure the man that you lay with you know even if things don't work out because we can never we can't tell if relationships most relationships end you know that man's gonna be a good father and don't come with this nonsense that oh you can never tell you can never tell that's bs bs if you plan a baby with a man and i mean actually plan sit down okay we're gonna start trying for kids in december and that man's excited and that man wants it most likely he's gonna be there regardless would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear bear man is scary um with a bear what i've heard about bears they don't always attack you right unless you like fuck with them so maybe a bear <laughs> probably depends what man but probably a bear 100% a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but definitely a bear. Some men are very scary out there. A bear. <laughs> I would say, I would say a man. To all the people out there who say, oh, these third world countries, people are so uneducated. People are so uneducated. They're docile. They're this. Some of the dumbest people I've ever met in my life. I have met here in the UK. The educational system is shocking beyond shocking the teachers don't care they don't get paid enough and this is the result bobby sleeping with drake and that being the reason her and her husband got divorced as well as kissing ryan garcia is absolutely the wildest thing i've heard all year so if you ever thought it was weird that bobby just all of a sudden got a rise to fame a lot of people are saying that it's because she slept with drake which would make sense because it's almost like the same way Sexy Red did. Drake is known for literally sleeping with celebrity females and putting them on. But last night, Ryan Garcia came forward and said that he did something with Bobby as well and even dropped off the receipts. He then went on to disclose that Drake and Bobby slept together and that's the reason we see her as an industry plant right now. And it kind of makes sense because people were saying the same thing about Sexy Red and you see their relationship. I still believe that Sexy Red is really Drake's baby daddy. Not only did Sexy Red lie about having a boy and it's actually a girl, but if you see that baby, child. So yes, Ryan Garcia came forward six hours ago saying that Bobby had sex with Drake and this is what prompted the divorce between Bobby and her husband. He made this post on Twitter saying Bobby ate off Drake and that's why she got a divorce. She cool. And then went on to say that he also kissed Bobby and went on to show messages between him and Bobby. I don't know if you asked me for her to be married, she was being a little too friendly in these DMs. Even saying something like, you're gonna have to teach me how to box and ask when was she free. And Bobby even inboxed him saying, do you have a hotel room or someone we could do it, maybe 10 a.m. I think it was very weird already for Bobby to do a podcast in a hotel room. I honestly think that Drake might be the modern day Diddy as Diddy also said he was gonna expose Drake as well. I don't know though. I still think Bobby is an industry plant, but I don't think Ryan Garcia is lying. I'm surprised that people are surprised by this. Now, if you don't know who she's talking about, I'm going to put her picture somewhere up here, but woman gets near to money and fame and all of a sudden her morals get a bit shaky. I mean, that's that, that that's normal. That's what happens, right? <laughs> I mean, she got to be with Drake, <laughs> Ryan Garcia. Yeah, she got a husband, but... You know, it's Drake. If there are women who are willing to destroy their relationships for uh, Omar Lay, no disrespect. I mean, Drake, I mean, come on. I want y'all to see something real quick. Watch this. Read the caption. At this point, I'm switching sides. 
and that's on not accepting less than the bare minimum. We are talking way less than 1% of men. It's her standard, and that's her bare minimum because she doesn't want to accept the bare Like, we are talking 0 .0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00022% of men. That's her standard. The other day, I don't know if I made it on this account or another account, but I was um, being funny, like one of the sarcastic soft life shit, right? The uh, soft guy era shit, right? And I was like, just so the ladies know, Nara Smith is the bare minimum, right? And I couldn't even keep a straight face in the video. Like we all know that that's probably a 0.00022% of women that could, you know, we probably, we probably all understand that Nara Smith, she probably don't even live like that. Like probably out of all the women in the United States of America, maybe 0.00022% of them could do shit like her, right? And when I made that video, it was such a sarcastic, funny video that we were all just laughing in the comment section. Like, we know that's not the bare minimum. But, but, she say, and that's on not accepting less than the bare minimum. She is dead the fuck serious. And she said, at this point, I'm switching sides. Like, switching sides at this point. Put in all those same metrics, whatever you put in on this calculator, put in all those same metrics for women. The number would be less if we use our noggins for half a second. Like if you put in six feet, six pack, six figures, which I'm seeing this right here, you probably put in a higher, a number amount and, a, and probably like a young age. Put the same thing in for women and there would be less. So what y'all be saying is you would accept less from a woman. <laughs> Just not a man. A lot of these women are victims of the internet, victims of social media. And I would suffice that a lot of their standards, they don't really care about. I think there are probably things that women have to make their bare minimum requirement because if they don't, they might be viewed as a pick me or they might be shamed by their friends. Because typing in your standards and seeing that only 0.00022% of men meet those standards. And then doubling down saying that that's the bare minimum, it must be some sort of a mental health problem. You must need help. This liquor got me get my zone Now I'm blowing up your phone Blowing we smoke in the ozone I just can't let this go This liquor got me get my 